Hey guys, welcome to We Live A Lot. So we're up here at the Beaver Creek Campground uh, Portage Trail uh, for access over to the the thoroughfare that connects Lower Priest Lake to Upper Priest Lake. And we're going to be jumping on this trail over here. Got the kayaks. See the kayaks over there in the truck. Right there. So we gotta get them over to the thoroughfare, which is along this trail here. So getting that going. Just a minute. Pretty smoky out. No luck on fishing yet. Getting pretty close to the upper lake. Upper priest. Here we are at the mouth of the upper lake, Upper Priest Lake. You can just see how smoky it is right now from all the fires. It's actually not as bad today as it was yesterday, but it's still pretty bad. Now we just gotta find, see Heather up there, ditched me. Now we just gotta find a spot to camp. I think there's a little place next to a creek that we wanna go to, so we'll see. So this might be our camp spot. Nice beach, nobody around. Super private. Nobody else on the entire lake. Looks pretty amazing. All right, so that last camp spot we decided was not a go. Some people ended up pulling up right next to us. Ain't thoughts of like we are out here, we want to be alone, so we decided to hop back in the kayaks and try to explore up a little more. So there's a creek up here that we're going to try to find and try to camp right next to. I believe it's right up in this area a little bit. All right, so we paddled and paddled, and I think we finally settled on our spot. So I just wanted to give you a quick tour around. It doesn't look like much at first. Once you get up on shore, it actually goes back quite a ways. We are in grizzly territory, so I was pretty surprised that they had a bear box back there, which is awesome. Picnic table is always nice to have. We did bring our own chairs, but not going to complain if there's an extra table set up at the camp. It's actually a pretty huge spot here. A lot of room. This is one that we could probably bring the whole family on if we decided to. A lot of space for tents. There's the bear box over there. There is a tiny fire pit, but currently in our area, we do have a fire ban. So unfortunately we aren't going to be able to do any sort of fire tonight. But I did find a solution on Amazon that I'm actually pretty excited to test out. Just cause I like that ambience of having that campfire in the background once it gets dark. I was pretty excited to see that there was this little trail here. Just kinda wanna check it out. Actually really beautiful, really peaceful here. Comes up to this little tiny bridge and it just opens up and it's absolutely beautiful. Opens up into the lake.
We'll probably go up and just explore this little creek a little more, maybe do some fishing this evening once we get everything set up. Just an absolutely beautiful area. Nice sandy area. Have this beautiful creek over to the right here. We're panning around. We have the whole lake on our left. So it's gonna be a beautiful view on whichever side of the town we decide to get out of in the morning. It's a little windy, it's about 85 degrees. Fortunately, the air quality is not great. We do have a lot of fires in our area right now. I'm just happy to be out here and enjoying this beautiful scenery. everyone we just got to camp We're kind of getting everything set up here we just kind of set our bags over here so that we can kind of find everything and pull it out as we need it as we're filling our tent got a beautiful setup right here with a great view these chairs have saved my life after kayaking all day it's so nice to be able to actually sit in something that has a back to it but I'm just gonna show you that view it's still a little bit smoky here but it's beautiful out Just kind of pulled the kayak straight up. Back here we found this nice little corner. It's super sandy. It kind of has some shelter on the sides to keep us sheltered from the wind. It didn't get too windy on the way down here, so we're hoping for a good night. It has this beautiful little creek directly behind it. Just a great spot. Pretty big space. It has a nice little picnic table up here. Bear box in the back. We'll be filling that shortly with all of our delicious food that we brought. That's where we came. You can see that mountain way in the distance. One more quick setup of our camp. I am ready to unpack and relax.
going home definitely a rougher ride home than it was getting here got headwind and the waves are getting just a little choppy but super smoky and hazy today it's kind of gross you can smell it you see that way it looks kind of stormy and hazy and that's where we were up there that was our beach that we camped at but yeah trying to get home <laughs>